I remember first hearing about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure from the To Be Continued meme close to about a year ago, and at that time I had no idea what I would soon get myself into. I eventually got some knowledge over various memes that JoJo fans would come up with, without watching the anime. Like the whole, is that a JoJo reference? I began to get curious as to what JoJo was, and one day, the anime popped in my recommended for Hulu. Am I glad I got to check it out? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is self-explanatory. Bizarre. It is not the kind of anime for every viewer, but if you can handle the many dramatic tensions and the over-the-top storytelling, you'll be in for a fun ride. But it is best experienced when watching with a group of friends, or just someone willing to grind the episodes with you in my opinion. The anime is split into four parts currently, each one branching in a way that you could somewhat get into the series from any random part technically, without even watching the others. Even of the time of the manga, most fans got into JoJo during the time of Part 3, known as Stardust Crusaders, which is also my favorite part of the anime. First thing to note about JoJo is the length of the series. Parts 1 and 2 are spanned to 26 episodes, but Parts 3 and 4 have about twice the length each. But at least it ain't a grind like Naruto or One Piece. Oh man, I'm like on episode 7 of One Piece and there's like... Oh, oh my god. But, why do I like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Well, I honestly enjoy the over-the-top tone. JoJo is very different from typical animes, but it's not too unfamiliar in terms of enjoyment. I just love when people who do not follow anime watch me view JoJo and everything they see leads them to everlasting confusion. The animation is pretty consistent and the shading adds its own levels of depth. There's lots of movement and shifting angles, and the animation team does a great job of making sure you keep paying attention to the screen. You could keep watching various scenes and have something to laugh at in the background, or just notice some interesting details. For when a new character joins in the crew, or a villain needs to set the stage, the anime does a brilliant job of preparing the audience for a hype battle. Most of the time, as some enemies may end up being gags. Each villain has a goal in mind, and we see how even simple encounters speak volumes upon who they are. And let's not forget about setting. Each JoJo part brings a whole new world for us to explore, going from London, to New York, to Egypt, to name a few. And so, every part's environment feels fresh and opens opportunities for each battle. Which the battles are pretty interesting to see, if not bizarre. Yes, I've said that twice now. But damn is it fitting. I'm purposely trying to not say so much in this video in case to awesome newcomers, because it really is worth checking the series. There is not a complicated story to follow, as I would say, and if you just want a simple introduction to the series, just watch a few bits of the Stardust Crusaders part, which is known as Season 2 of JoJo. But if you believe you might be interested from the start, then go ahead and watch from the beginning of Season 1. The series moves from vampire assaults to energy manipulating techniques known as Homon, spiritual powers referred to as stands, and so much more. Trust me, you'll get in real quick if you enjoy the same style of anime I do. Investing into a story for the fun and entertainment, rather than the soap opera and the edginess. Yeah, I love comedies, and I'm sure I offended some people who are typing away at the moment, but it's the only comparison I can come up with. <laughs> Jojo is colorful, both in presentation and in mood. There's no sense of dullness from what I viewed, which is up to about, uh, I'd say, episode 6 or 7 of part 4. And this especially applies if you watch the series with the right people. Jojo is so obscure when you view it the other way. And there are amazing plot summaries that make the anime much more noticeable, eh, for better or for worse. I dare you to try to find comments or summaries about Jojo. They're a great laugh, though V very true. And the laughs just go on once you discover more memes on Jojo. The Jojo fandom may have a certain image to some, but I don't care. I want the memes to stand. Yes, that's a Jojo reference. I can hear someone thinking it already. But yes, I love Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, because it does not follow the same tropes that most animes of the bunch use. 
I do recommend it to those who think they'll find entertainment out of an Italian man using bubbles to harm ancient men with insane muscles who bursted out of ancient pillars in search of a ruby for their stone masks. Yes, that really happens. That's pretty much what I can say about Jojo in a nutshell. You just have to see for yourself. Well, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I left it short just in case there were some people who still haven't seen Jojo, which I do recommend you go see. Please go watch it. Don't crucify me. And not only that, but I wanted to make sure that I left some things open in case I wanted to come back to them in future videos if y'all did enjoy this anime discussion. I believe I might have some topics for My Hero Academia as well, or Boku no Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm not a weeb, just stop. <laughs> So, just let me know down in the comments and leave a like if you did enjoy. Also, now that I'm done with high school and am fully graduating, I can now have a little bit more free time when it comes to recording and getting videos out for you guys, so do stick around. I'll do my best to entertain you. But until then, let's just see what I come up with and I'll see y'all later. Take care.